Uh, Commander? We've got company. Have their sensors picked us up yet? Well, stealth systems are engaged. Unless we get close enough for a visual, they won't have any idea we're here. Picking up some strange readings from the planet's surface. Take us down, Joker. Lock in on the coordinates. Negative on that, Commander. The nearest landing zone's two clicks away. We'll never make it in time on foot. Get us something closer. There is nowhere closer. I've looked. Drop us in the Mako. You need at least 100 meters of open terrain to pull off a drop like that. The most I can find near Saren is 20. 20 meters? We'll never get in close enough for a drop. We have to try. Find another landing zone. There is no other landing zone! The descent angle's too steep. It's our only option. It's not an option. It's a suicide run. We don't... I can do it. Joker? I can do it. Gear up and head down to the Mako. Joker, drop us right on top of that bastard. Before Saren finds the conduit, there is no way we're getting past that door with brute force. Saren found some way to open it. There must be some kind of security override somewhere in this complex. We will have to find some way to get it up and running again. Come, Saren already has a head start. We have to go find him before he reaches the conduit. Unless he's already found it, then we're just walking into a trap. That is a chance we will have to take. Hold on. Something's happening. <laughs> Too late. Unable to... Invading fleets. No escape. Sounds like some kind of message, but I don't recognize the language. It is probably in Prothean. This recording must be 50,000 years old. No wonder we cannot understand it. The message is all broken up, but I recognize some of the words. It's a warning against the Reaper invasion. Of course. Between the beacons and the cipher, an understanding of the Prothean language would have been transferred into your mind. Not safe. Seek refuge. Inside the archives. What's it saying? Can you make out anything useful? Fault Reapers. The Citadel. Overwhelmed. It said something about the conduit, but it's too degraded to help. We should go. You are not Prothean, but you are not machine either. This eventuality was one of many that was anticipated. This is why we sent our warning through the beacons. Looks like some kind of VI program. Pretty badly damaged. I do not sense the taint of indoctrination upon any of you. Unlike the other that passed recently, perhaps there is still hope. This is incredible. An actual Prothean VI, and I can understand it. I have been monitoring your communications since you arrived at this facility. I have translated my output into a format you will comprehend. My name is Vigil. You are safe here for the moment, but that is likely to change. Soon, nowhere will be safe. Are you some kind of artificial intelligence program? I am an advanced non-organic analysis system with personality imprints from Kesad Aishan, Chief Overseer of the Ilos Research Facility. Why did you bring me here? You must break a cycle that has continued for millions of years. But to stop it, you must understand, or you will make the same mistakes we did. The Citadel is the heart of your civilization and the seat of government, as it was with us and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. But the Citadel is a trap. The station is actually an enormous mass relay, one that links to dark space, the empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. When the Citadel relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through, and all you know will be destroyed. How come nobody ever noticed the Citadel was an inactive mass relay? The Reapers are careful to keep the greatest secrets of the Citadel hidden. That is why they created a species of seemingly benign organic caretakers. 
The keepers maintain the station's most basic functions. They enable any species that discovers the Citadel to use it without fully understanding the technology. Reliance on the Keepers ensures no other species will ever discover the Citadel's true nature. Not until the Relay is activated and the Reapers invade. How do the Reapers survive out in dark space? We have only theories. The researchers here came to believe the Reapers enter prolonged states of inactivity to conserve energy. This allows them to survive the thousands and thousands of years it takes for organic civilization to rebuild itself. But in this state, they are vulnerable. By retreating beyond the edges of the galaxy, they ensure no one will accidentally discover them. They keep their existence hidden until the Citadel Relay is activated. The Reapers can wipe out the Council and the entire Citadel fleet in a single surprise attack. That was our fate. Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. The Reapers seized control of the Citadel and through it the mass relays. Communication and transportation across our empire were crippled. Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, system by system. They methodically wiped us out. The war was lost. If you had surrendered, they might have let you live. No offer of surrender was ever given. Our enemy had a single goal. The extinction of all advanced organic life. Through the Citadel, the Reapers had access to all our records, maps, census data. Information is power and they knew everything about us. Their fleets advanced across every settled region of the galaxy. Some worlds were utterly destroyed. Others were conquered, their populations enslaved. These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control. Taken in as refugees by other Protheans, they betrayed them to the machines. Within a few centuries, the Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. They were relentless, brutal, and absolutely thorough. I don't understand. Where did the Reapers go after they conquered your people? Our worlds were stripped bare, harvested by the indoctrinated slaves. Everything of value, all resources, all technology was taken. Certain that all advanced organic life had been extinguished, the Reapers retreated back through the Citadel Relay into dark space, sealing it behind them. All evidence of the Reaper invasion had been wiped away. Only their indoctrinated slaves were left behind. Abandoned. Mindless husks, no longer capable of independent thought. The indoctrinated soon starved or died of exposure. The genocide of the Protheans was complete. You said you brought me here for a reason. Tell me what I need to do. The conduit is the key. Before the Reapers attacked, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Ilos was a top secret facility. Here, researchers worked to create a small-scale version of a mass relay, one that linked directly to the Citadel, the hub of the relay network. The conduit is not a weapon. It is a backdoor onto the Citadel. What happened next? We severed all communication with the outside, and our facility went dark. The personnel retreated underground into these archives. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis, I was programmed to monitor the facility and wake the staff when the danger had passed. But the genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Years passed, decades, centuries. The Reapers persisted, and my energy reserves were dwindling. You should have fought. We were a few hundred against a galactic invasion fleet. Our only hope was to remain undetected. I began to disable the life support of non-essential personnel. First support staff, then security. One by one, their pods were shut down to conserve energy. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel Relay. There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down? You killed them? You were programmed to protect them, not kill them. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. A 
bet they didn't tell the non-essential staff about this contingency. I saved key personnel. When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. My actions are the only reason any hope remains. When the researchers woke, they realized the Prothean species was doomed. There were only a dozen individuals left, far too few to sustain a viable population. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning. A way to break the cycle forever. And they knew the Keepers were the key. I still don't understand what's going on here. Why is Saren trying to find the Conduit? The Conduit gives him access to the Citadel and the Keepers. The Keepers are controlled by the Citadel. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel relay. After decades of feverish study, the scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the conduit, they gained access to the Citadel and made the modifications. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. Saren can use the conduit to bypass all the Citadel's external defenses. Correct. And once inside, he can transfer control of the station to Sovereign. Sovereign will override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay. And the cycle of extinction will begin again. Is there any way we can stop them? There's a data file in my console. Take a copy when you go. When you reach the Citadel's master control unit, upload it to the station. It will corrupt the Citadel's security protocols and give you temporary control of the station. It might give you a chance against Sovereign. Wait, where's the Citadel's master control unit? I've never heard of anything like that. Through the conduit. Follow Saren. He will lead you to your destination. Saren's got enough of a head start. Grab that data file and let's go. Shepard, are you sure? Who knows how much longer Vigil will be here? Even now the projection is weak. This might be our only chance to speak with it, our only link to the knowledge of the Protheans. It is the opportunity of a lifetime. I'm sorry, Liara. We have to stop Saren. Nothing else matters. You are right. I am sorry. My personal feelings clouded my judgment. We... we should go. The one you call Saren has not reached the conduit. Not yet. There is still hope if you hurry. There. The conduit. It's incredible. We don't have time to admire the view. We have to get through that relay. And these Geth aren't gonna make it easy on us.
outside. You survived our encounter on Vermeyer, but I've changed since then. Improved. Sovereign has upgraded me. You let Sovereign implant you? Are you insane? I suppose I should thank you, Shepard. After Vermeyer, I couldn't stop thinking about what you said. About Sovereign manipulating me. About indoctrination. The doubts began to eat away at me. Sovereign sensed my hesitation. I was implanted to strengthen my resolve. Now my doubts are gone. I believe in Sovereign completely. I understand that the Reapers need organics. Join us, and Sovereign will find a place for you, too. Sovereign's controlling you through your implants. Don't you see that? The relationship is symbiotic. Organic and machine intertwined. A union of flesh and steel. The strengths of both, the weaknesses of neither. I am a vision of the future, Shepard. The evolution of all organic life. This is our destiny. Join Sovereign and experience a true rebirth. Sovereign hasn't won yet. I can stop it from taking control of the station. Step aside and the invasion will never happen. We can't stop it. Not forever. You saw the visions. You saw what happened to the Protheans. Reapers are too powerful. Some part of you must still realize this is wrong. You can fight this. Maybe you're right. Maybe there is still a chance for... for... <laughs> the implants. Sovereign is too strong. I'm sorry. It is too late for me. It's not over yet. You can still redeem yourself. Goodbye, Shepard. Thank you. Vigil's data file worked. I've got control of all systems. Quick! Open the station's arms! Maybe the fleet can take Sovereign down before he regains control of the station! See if you can open a communications channel. The Destiny Ascension! Main drives offline! Kinetic barriers down 40%! The Council is on board! I repeat, the Council is on board! Normandy to the Citadel! Normandy to the Citadel! Please tell me that's you, Commander! I'm here, Joker. We caught that distress call, Commander. I'm sitting here in the Endura sector with the entire Arcturus fleet. We can save the Ascension. Just unlock the relays around the Citadel and we'll send the cavalry in. Are you sure about this, Shepard? Human casualties will be very high if you send your fleet in now. This is bigger than humanity. Sovereign's a threat to every organic species in the galaxy. The Council must be sacrificed for the greater good. Do not waste your reinforcements. Hold them back until the Citadel arms open up. Save the human fleet to attack Sovereign. What's the order, Commander? Come in now to save the Ascension, or hold back? Wait until those arms open, Joker. We need all our ships focusing on Sovereign, even if it means sacrificing the Council. Sacrifice the Council for the greater good? I sure hope you know what you're doing.
All Alliance ships, home formation. Wait for a shot at Sovereign. Nothing else matters. I repeat, nothing else matters. Commander, we're picking up reinforcements. It's the Alliance. Open a comm channel. This is the Ascension. We're taking heavy damage. Guardian defenses are over... Kinetic barriers are offline. Commander, they closed the channel. Sure, he's dead.
Take it easy. It's over. You're safe now. Where's the commander? your message, Ambassador. What's all this about? No need to get worked up, Captain. I'd like to end this meeting with all my teeth still in place. You should thank me for what I did. If the Normandy was still grounded, we'd all be dead right now. I understand, Captain. You did what you had to do. That's not why you're here. We need to talk about what happened to the Council. Commander Shepard did the right thing. We had to hold our fleet back to go after Sovereign was the only way. I agree, but this also presents us with an opportunity. The Citadel fleets were decimated in the attack. Their losses have made the Alliance stronger. They can't rebuild without us. We need to take the lead in forming a new council, one with a human chairman at its head. This wasn't some plan for the Alliance to seize power. Forcing the other races to accept our leadership is going to cause problems. The other species are scared. They've never faced anything like this before. They don't know what to do. They want us to step forward. They believe in us because of you, Shepard. You saved the galaxy from Sovereign. You're a symbol of everything good about humanity, our courage, our strength. The Ambassador's right. The other races look up to us now. They won't just accept our leadership. They'll welcome it. Given everything you've done, Commander, the Alliance will want to know who you think our Council Chairman should be. We're about to go into war. We need someone with military experience. Someone like Captain Anderson. You make a good case. Captain, are you ready for this? I don't know if any of us are ready for this. But I'll do what I can. So what happens now? The Reapers are still out there. They're coming. And I'm going to find some way to stop them. Shepard's right. We're headed for war with the Reapers. If we lose, it's the end of all life as we know it. We have to show the rest of the galaxy what it takes to survive. With the support of the other races, we can win this battle. With them behind us, we can stand against the Reapers' return and drive them back into dark space.